Yo, GameBro here, and this is Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask Post Commentary once again. In this part, I will have collected the rest of the stray fairies. I was kind of complaining about, like, I'm not looking, wasn't looking forward to getting all the stray fairies. It was going to end up a frustrating experience, but, um, find the stray fairies. It was actually kind of enjoyable, honestly. Um, I mean, especially the rewards you get afterwards. Quite satisfying. Mm. So, what I need to do here... I need to... I need to stand on that. Didn't think you could actually... Walk up the 60 degree angle. But yes, some um, that is what you need to do. Hook shot to that treasure chest. It's not too hard. Um. But yes, it seems like walking up slopes, even that steep, are no problem for Link. So what I actually need to do here. Dive and you'll find the the last stray fairy in here. Stray material. I pr probably didn't need to use that shield there. And that is the last of the stray fairies. Those yeah, those two were missed. Were probably the eat, probably the hardest to find. Although the first one I found in this part was definitely no excuse. Like I'm not finding sooner than I did. The last tried to kind of look up, but the. 13 I managed to find on my own. Yay. <clears throat> I used to use guides quite a bit. Like Every time I played through something, every time I had a guide for it, I would just make use of it every time. But at this age, um... I kind of want to figure things out, um, and only use guides for the last resort, or look up online. A lot of people don't buy guides these days, but you have game facts, game spot, and such. Look up on how to defeat things. And it's all free. See, it's no wonder there aren't any. They're like are not like any more issues coming out for Nintendo Power because in many ways magazines are becoming outdated but it's still too bad Nintendo Power won't be around anymore I had a lot of fond memories with their magazines it's probably a bias that I was a huge Nintendo fan didn't get into Sony Microsoft um, most time for most of the years I read their magazines. Although I wasn't exactly Nintendo fanboy j because I really like Sega as well. But um, anyway, um, here's the third boss. Georg, Giorg or something. Um, don't do what I did and try to Use your electric shield on that boss. Um, it is not worth it. Instead, if you have any, um, just shoot arrows from the center, which is what I should have done in the first place. Um, but I was kind of used to doing it the hard way. I thought that you, it was um, makes sense. It did come to my mind, and it, and you don't even have to use like. <clears throat> Any special kind of arrows you you just use plain ass arrows. Have I died thus have I not died until thus far? Well I have now. But that is it for the fairies I have right now.
Yeah, again, not recommend trying to swim next to it with the electric shield. Um, it is fairly quick. I mean, Mikau's pretty quick as well, going like 25, 30 miles per hour underwater. Maybe I'm exaggerating slightly, but um, <coughs> he'll always. He's gonna keep ending up like right behind you. So try to devour you but before it's too late. And you'll take quite a bit of damage. Like two whole hearts. So yeah. There. Now my past self is being smart. That strategy makes this boss a lot easier do enough damage towards it, like, take away half its health. There are more enemies to face, it's babies. Which, if you kill, you can get a lot of hearts out of. That's one way to restore your health if you don't have any potions. And thankfully, you can restore magic at the corners, um... But even just having full on magic should be plenty, but just in case it isn't. There's magic at the corners, but of course it can be a little risky. But yeah, just don't stay in too long and you'll probably be fine. Probably. <clears throat> this is definitely my least favorite boss. I never liked it too much. Um, I'm not a huge fan of most of the bosses in this game, to be fair. Adawa, it's a really fun boss fight, though. And I suppose Ghost is okay. A lot of people seem to really like that boss, but I find it just okay. Nothing too special, it's unique, but eh. Whatever to it. But at least the dungeons before getting to the bosses are pretty enjoyable. And I said even collecting the stray fairies isn't that bad. I mean, especially helps. When I was a kid. Um, when I was a kid, I didn't know you can figure out which rooms have stray fairies and which ones don't with a great fairy mask. So, so that really helps. That makes it less frustrating. Um. Knowing which rooms you have collected all the stray fairies at or not. Heart container. And just like the other areas, there'll be more side quests. At the Great Bay, just like the swamp in the mountains, where you can get even more heart pieces after defeating the boss of the area. Gotta love the music in this game. And just about every other Zelda game for that matter. After this conversation with the colossal tor with the colossal turtle, I will have it's a great fairy.
Time to stab a fairy after some boss fight. And I was... I was going to... Um, in the part of this one, I will have... Saved and went back in time. I mean, thankfully, you can, like I've said before, um, pretty much instantly head in dungeons and um, fight bosses so you can restore peace in the area. So you can do a side quest without having to take too much time prior to that. Shots required. Palm trees on the way. <laughs> so, what will the reward be this time? For all the stray fairies in this area? Well, you'll find out soon enough. I'm, I won't be telling. Blast mask. Just in case you don't have any actual bombs. So here we are. Fairy's Fountain. Yeah, this is a pretty short part, but whatever. It's a reward very well worth it. The best, probably the best reward there is in this game, actually. <laughs> now our defense is doubled, so it's basically the amount of hearts you have times two. Um, so basically, I have 22 hearts. And since there are 20 hearts in this game, you basically have 40 if you get double defense. I think we get it much sooner than you do in Ocarina of Time. But that is it for this part. This is GamePro. See you all in the next video.